Hi, my name is Marina Summers, and uh, I am with the Wall uh, Association. And today is November the 23rd, which is my son Calvin Lee Hurd's birthday. 25-year-old African-American black male who was shot and murdered uh, on March the 28th of 2011 and did not uh, make it through. He's not alive. He left a surviving daughter of uh, at now. He's, she's nine years old. Out of that was birth of the wall, which is our ministry. Um, our ministry uh, has come to help other families who have lost their children, their loved ones, and can't seem to get past what has happened to them. After Calvin passed away, it inspired me to, to start the wall. And in starting the wall, at that time, I was very devastated. I was torn. Uh, I, I had just lost my 25-year-old son. He was shot in the back of his head. I remember him being in a coma for seven days and watching God uh, taking me through that time and, and, and allowing me to understand that I needed to let go. Letting go was very hard for me to do. And in that time, God had began to talk to me and tell me that he wanted to heal his land. He wanted to heal his people and he needed to use me to do that. But in that process, I didn't want to talk to God. I didn't want to be really disturbed by God. And for four months, I can remember not talking to him. I can remember not saying a word to him, but he constantly loved me. He constantly comforted me. He never left me. He never ever lifted his hand off of me or his love for me. It was constantly flowing on the inside of me. And because of that, it healed me. And the wall was birthed. You know, it's really overwhelming to talk about this for me. And the, and the, the overwhelming part is the joy, the unspeakable joy. That joy is a joy that never leaves you the peace of God that covers me. Um, I don't know anyone out there that's gone through this or even the rejection, the, the pain, the hurt that you had to go through. But I'm telling you, I stand here before you a living miracle that God can actually heal me and give me the joy that he's given me. I don't sit before you with tears of anything but joy that I am actually alive and well and I didn't go back to the world. I didn't resort to my old life. I resorted to the Christ that's on the inside of me. And I resorted to the ministry, the wall association, and went forth in prayer and wanted to see other people, now my desire, my passion, saved and delivered and healed. That's the joy that I hang on to every day. The one thing I want you to understand more than anything is that Kelvin had dreams and I truly believe that God gave me the legacy of my own son to live out his dreams. We have a legacy. We are a legacy. Uh, we are God's legacy. Calvin is still God's legacy. He is from my flesh and my bone. He was birthed out of me, but still he's a legacy. And I thank God that I'm able to live out his dreams. And you're able to live out your dreams. The Bible says in Jeremiah 29, 11, that I know the plans that I have for you plans that you would prosper, you would be in good health, that you would have good welfare. He knows what he has for you. He has dreams for you. And it's so powerful how God sets those dreams up and they still live them out. They don't end. God is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He doesn't change. Dreams can still be dreamed. They don't have to lay dormant. They don't have to not live because the, the Christ that lives on the inside of you wants to come out. And that's what was on the inside of Calvin. And now it lives everywhere, in every state, in every region, in every city, going every place, telling everybody, you have dreams and you can live them no matter what the situation.